How's it going, Rednecks? I'm here for the first ever Gambler 500 Tip of the Mitt 2021. And I'm here with the uh, Tahoe, and I got my dad with me right now. He is punching in coordinates, and this looks like it's going to be a good event. As you can see, I even bought a hat for it. So we're going to get loaded up, we're going to get all the coordinates punched in, and I will see you guys on the route. to pass you now because if you're going to wimp out on us <laughs> we're just leveling everything out in the back of the truck man holy cow <laughs> man oh man rednecks these trails are aggressive and uh we've definitely been getting on it and as you've seen hopefully you guys seen Alti got some pretty good air as well as we did i had about half the stuff in the back laying on my shoulder and we got about and we probably got a good 12 people behind us so this is pretty good. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. Makes a makes for a better event if you got a bunch of people around you. The rear shocks are just gone up. The antenna's hanging on my door now. We got a hill. Man, oh man, 
rednecks. This hill is being quite the challenge. As you can see, we had some work ahead of us, but they're coming now, so we should get on our way anytime soon. Yeah, this is good. This is what I live for. Turn right. We gotta turn right. We gotta turn right up here. This is ridiculous. We're leaving them behind. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> See, that's one thing you forgot. <laughs> Tow bar. All right, we should be good to go. I'm confident. He stalled. First, we got to figure out why it stalled. So. We don't. It's been doing that. Oh, way. okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that ranger behind us is having fun. <laughs> What's the pictures of you driving? Heck yeah. This is awesome. This has uh, actually been one of the better trips I think we've been on as far as like the off-roading and uh, variation between everything. So the coordinators did a dang good job of this. Just go past and back back up. Commentary. I've never seen the bridge. Never seen the bridge before. I don't think I need to do commentary of that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Lived here my entire life and I've never seen the bridge. This is going to be amazing. I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. <laughs> and there she is. In a quarter mile, turn left onto the ramp to I 75 North. Yeah, I don't think I need to do commentary for that. <laughs> but it is there if I want to use it now. It is. <laughs> Whenever you get to do your first chance again. You know, 37 years old, and I have yet to see this damn bridge. Well, there we go, rednecks. We made it to the very tip of the mitt, and that leads you to the UP. So, this is as far as we're going to go. Now we gotta head to the um, beach party, so I will see you guys there.
rednecks, it don't look like there's much of a beach party out here, but uh, me and Umpty made the best of it in that short clip. And now we're actually headed out to some more uh, checkpoints. The reason for coming here is to actually get checkpoints for the campground and uh, just kind of hang out. So hopefully you enjoyed that short clip and uh, we'll see you on some more trails. This is going to make men of us all. Holy crap! <laughs>
Okay, your negative's going that way. Let me uh, let me grab my wrenches. We'll just undo the battery. Oh, you don't even need that to do it. Well, I can get your positive one off at least. Make me feel better. Yeah, it shut off on me right there behind you around that turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's there you the go. way it yep. was. Yep, you're right. Yeah. That thing. Quality, Woo! quality plastic. Well, you want this wire tucked back into or not? Yeah. I don't know exactly what it goes to. So. It, I think it was just underneath the. What's this one go to? Oh, shit. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's been like that's that. That's been like that? Okay, yeah. I was going to say you just sheared your main power. Okay. Proper installation. <laughs> Torque to spec. I don't think you'll be doing any more ramping. No, probably not. Well, <laughs> I do have zip ties, or I mean, uh, ratchet straps. It broke it right here, broke that whole piece right off. I thought you were in park. I thought that was your park ping. That's what it sounds like. I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're in park. <laughs> I think we spun the tire, or yeah, spun the tire in the rim when we were off roading. I think it created a bead leak. So we're gonna do what we can with it for now. Just air it up, and when I get home, I'll have to repair it properly. Yeah, that's pretty low. It's at 14.2. Let off and then hit it, hold it, let off, hit it, hold it. I don't even hear your starter relay. There you go. Yep. Well, we're only, you can only die once. All right. <laughs> it's like a big mouse trap now. That's right. You ever play the game? Off the thing. Let's see what you I was say, we could try and switch it to a different one too. And it's, 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 oh, I got a this whole back. battery flipped upside down in here and it broke the relay center and everything. So we got a little bit of a nightmare on our hands. He doesn't have no headlights or nothing. Yeah. Oh, thanks for stopping, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Camp is just up there. Just hold it on crank. You're holding, you're holding crank, nothing. But the dinger does go off, so it knows key is on and headlights is on, so your ignition is working. One thing we could. Oh. There you go. That'll do it. That'll, that'll do it. Okay, yep. I did. But you should start now. Yeah, I think so. That was the harness for the starter relays and everything. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I was going to say your relays ain't. There we go. There we go. Bam. <laughs> we seriously got three puddles to go through and we'll be at camp, so. <laughs> You think you can do it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Rednecks, all I gotta say is wow. Them trails were amazing, and even though it looked the same to you, they were different to us, and it was it was quite surprising, I gotta say. This event was very well done, and as you can see, we are sitting here at camp getting a uh, getting the fire set up. We got our tent set up. We got these guys over here setting their tents up. Uh, hats off to the coordinators on this one. I'm excited to see what else they have and even if they don't have anything for tomorrow I gotta say this was worth coming to and uh, I look forward to the next one. So we'll see what happens uh, I will get back to you guys tomorrow morning Be telling everybody about your experiences here. Too tired. Swim. Oh wait. Well, rednecks, it's the uh, morning, and I gotta say the night was pretty rough. It was pretty cold out. Some of the neighbors were playing pretty loud music, but it only went on for a little bit, and we got some good night's sleep. And uh, my dad cooked some breakfast. He's over here. We had uh, Lance made us some sausage links, some pancakes. There's a uh, coal pile out there. I'm sure helped along, but we're getting ready to hit some trails, so. Let's get to it.
could have got you with one hard hit, but I think we would have broke more than good. like he's going straight water yeah that's a low pressure so it won't it'll you have to wait for it to cool down to pull in from there you almost had to pull this but it's too hot to do that right now yeah I what do you what are you at it's it's hot like don't do that don't do that dude no yeah. there. There got it now yeah you think so <laughs> Now we gotta figure out why is it overheating? Did your water pump go out? <laughs> well, there you go. You gotta expect the unexpected. We're on this beautiful trail along this lake right here, and his uh, truck started overheating. And as you've seen, we put a bunch of blankets over top of the radiator cap because if you pop that thing off when your truck is hot, that'll shoot up. You'll have hot steam all over yourself, and uh, you won't be liking yourself anymore. But we got it all depressurized, we're adding our coolant, and we're going to investigate what's going on, and then hopefully we'll continue up this trail and there's going to be a good hill climb, so. Yep. Oh, I can't believe we made it that far. I almost made that in two-wheel drive. I'm probably just gonna have to go this way. Well, no, we're we're just doing this for the fun of it, and then we're gonna leave. Okay. So, so this is four wheel drive. So let's see what we can do now. We should be able to make it. Damn! <laughs> oh, that is intense. Whoo! That's a big one. Holy shit. The camera ain't doing this justice, I guarantee you that. This is like vertical. Up there. next this is a pretty unique situation right now I don't know how much my dad got of me working on this but we actually removed the, the uh, we actually removed the thermostat from the truck and if you take a look it is actually stuck open let me bring it over here and set it down look right there that's supposed to see or not be seated and it is it let go on this side and this whole thermostat collapsed that is the only area coolant can get through so what we're going to do is we're going to take these ears, uh, let me center it, we're going to take that ear right there and that ear right there and we're going to grind them off because you need this housing because this gasket right here actually seals up against this surface right here and up against the uh, water pump right there. So you don't want to just remove this and bolt it back together. So let's get the grinder out, we're going to cut this up and then we're going to reinstall just the housing. Yep. <laughs> I didn't 
shoot right off. There we go. So with it cut apart, this is what it looks like. This is the uh, housing right here, and this is actually your thermostat. And what we did is, like I said, we cut from there to there, took this part out, and all we're gonna be reinstalling is this part right here. Like new. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. In a matter of like 10 minutes, we got them up and going again, and we can hit some more trails. So I say that's a win. Yes. Okay. Um, so we were in charge of shenanigans. So the shenanigan winner is going to be Quaya. Yeah. 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 These two guys right here, the ones he was just talking oh, about, you guys in the super. They also gave a chunk box to somebody yesterday. Oh, yes, and, and they got it back. They got it back. Got okay, it. good. But my coordinator says they can't hang with me. <laughs> That's you. That's <laughs> Man oh man rednecks, all I have to say is wow. This was one of the best Gambler 500 events I've been to to date. And I'm happy my dad was able to join along with me, as well as the fact that my uh, $80 Tahoe held up to the challenge. It was awesome meeting and uh, hanging out with all you guys, and hats off to the coordinators on this one. This is going to be a hard event to beat. And the uh, scavenger hunt at the end, just topping on the cake. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. You got to like, comment, share, subscribe, and get back to work. <laughs> You're not very good at this. <laughs> You're not looking at the camera. It's right here. All that good stuff, huh? All that good stuff. Look at that. T-shirt. Walked by it twice. No kidding. You're turn, turn this by. way into the light. There you go. There I can see it. Yep. Nice. <laughs> The most genuine gambler. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> nice. Nice work. Let's get to it. Here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>